a nice sunny day. I haven't had one of these for a long time. And now I can finally do a half decent review on uh, mostly this 8 watt all powers folding solar panel. I'll just recap on what I do with this all power 60 watt folding solar panel. This one they all power sent me for free for review. This one I purchased myself and I liked it so much I did a few reviews and contacted them and they sent me this one and uh, just to show you what I do with them. This one I use uh, used at work and um, I set a GoPro up uh, in time-lapse mode which this is doing right now. I'm going to time-lapse the sun across the sky and in this cold this GoPro has about an hour and a half battery life. With the solar panel, as long as it's sunny, it uh, it'll run, it'll charge that. This actually went dead on me in the morning because it was cloudy and I had this on it. And when it's cloudy, this doesn't have quite enough power. Um, so the, my GoPro went dead, and then in the afternoon it got sunny again, and I was able to fully charge the battery and run the GoPro at the same time off this in about an hour. Maybe it was an hour and a half. But right around that mark, so it, it has a very quick charge time, and uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. I am time lapse and the sun go across the sky, and then the 60 watt. I really like this one. This is my favorite out of all the panels, just because it's the most powerful. Just have it hanging off my Jeep rails, and uh, this solar panel comes with uh, a bunch of different adapters for laptops but it also works for the power it you just plug it in and starts charging this is actually fully charged right now so I have 300 watt load to run off of it so that we can get the battery down so I can start uh, charging it let's see I don't know if you guys can see that or not but I just turned the light on he's pulling 264 watts, still says full, but I wonder now if I plug this in, well, it start charging. I think it's still too full to start charging, so we'll just leave that for a little bit. And uh, I'll get back to you guys when it starts charging. It's pretty neat. Um, it has an input right here that is super inaccurate. It says that the 60 watt panel puts out 120 watts, so it's saying double what it can actually do. So, at least mine, anyways, so mine doesn't work properly. Maybe yours will if you get one. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Oh, I'll show you on the back of this one actually. Let's see here. I'll touch the back. You can see. I don't know how well you can see that. You see that? Uh, well, the battery's showing full. It's not showing that it's charging. Um, let's see if I unplug it. Oops, moved it. Oh well. And then plug it back in. Oh, this time lapse is going to be a little messed up. Yeah. Huh. It's, I guess it's just fully charged. It's not showing anything. Very interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna let that go dead until it starts charging, and we'll go from there. The rest of my video I'm gonna do with my GoPro. It's in the waterproof case, so I hope you guys can hear me. Um. I know this works, I've already done it, uh, so I'm, I'm going to stop testing on this for now. For the GoPro, I'll charge something else with it. Maybe I'll charge the pack that came, or not that it came with that I have inside here. That problem with filming with your phone is when people call you, interrupts your video. But uh, I still have this light on, pulling power from this pack, but it only... Like, it won't charge yet because the battery is too full. 
if I turn the inverter off, it immediately goes back to 100%. So I gotta let this run for a bit. This light and the rest of the film I'm gonna do with my GoPro because I got a few things I want to show you that I made for the power. Alright, first uh, video of making with the GoPro, I believe. Here's one of the things I made for it. I put 30 amp Anderson plugs in the, both sides of this uh, watt meter so I can plug it in and get a reading on the volts and everything. Right now we're sitting at 12 volts. And uh, so this is source. So it goes through here. I can read the watts and everything coming out. Or I can switch it around. This is for pulling power from the battery, and this way is for putting power into the battery. Like this way, I can take like this, plug it into here. Now I got a meter with uh, voltage, it's upside down, but my volts are there. And I can take 5200 milliamp hour battery. Now we're at 11.9697. I'm going to put this in right here. You got to make sure the pack and this start at the same voltage. They're both at 12.4 volts. Now we're sitting at 12.07. But I have another one. So I'm going to take this one. Plug it in as well. But now I just added 10 amp hours. We are now sitting at 12.1 volts. I'm feeding in 100 watts from these batteries into here. It's 50 watts each. But I have one more. And we're going to plug this one in as well. This one's tricky because it's got a bent prong. There we go. Got it. Now we are pumping in about the same 100. 100 watts of power into here, so this has to put out 100 less watts. Um, the output is taking 260 watts, and we're pumping in 100 watts, so these will help prolong the life of this battery. Not, not just the life, but the, the run time. Uh, let's see if we can charge yet. No input. It won't take any charge yet, so I'm going to unhook this. Batteries are sitting at 12.2, 12.3. Still won't accept the charge. That's weird. That's taking so long. Uh, I remove these because I don't want to actually use them right now. Okay, it's been about I don't know five minutes since I plugged that thing in. Maybe a little longer. Under load, we're sitting at 11.85 volts approximately. And, where are we here? Hope you guys can see that. We're saying 80%. Now let's see if this panel will charge now. And she's charging. Okay, so I'm gonna unhook this and turn the inverter off. So we have no light, no power coming out, no power going in, and we're sitting at 12.5-ish volts. And I'm gonna plug this baby in. 12.8, 12 12.9, 12. 12.9, one volts. We are charging. Shows right there. It says 120 watts. Not true. Not even close. I'm going to see if I can uh, go through this meter to see what kind of uh, power we're getting out of this thing. It's not at a great angle to the sun. The sun is this way and my solar panel is pointing this way and straight. So it's not the best angle at all. But uh, we'll see what we get for numbers. All right, so I got this set up. 
Not the best angle, but it's a pretty good angle. We are getting 42 watts of power going into this. This is at 12.1, almost 12.2 volts now. And, uh, yeah. I wonder how long it'll take to charge. Ran 500 watts between 5 and 10 minutes. And it's actually going up pretty quick. It's not showing any charge here because I'm bypassing the front and I'm going through these leads. But this is my new camping setup. This here and my homemade version of this. They're going to be uh, my new on-the-go uh, power solution. And uh, if you want a small form factor, good amount of power solar panel, I highly recommend this solar panel right here. It's a really good solar panel. Um, I just noticed this. Uh, my Velcro is kind of coming off here. I'm going to have to glue that back on. But uh, I haven't been super gentle on this either. I just kind of rip it off. So, anyways, let's see. I'm curious if I cover one cell, what happens to the power here? So, there we go. I just covered one full cell. And wow, it still works. We lose power there. I uncovered it. Lose about 12 watts. That's amazing. I was covering this like this. That's amazing. So, works very well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think that's it for today. Oh, I'll show this one more time. I have this charging 3500 milliamp hour pack and uh, the lights. What are they doing? Oh yeah, it's almost full. But yeah, I'm keeping this just for time lapse videos mostly. Um, or cell phone when camping, but I'm always going to have that, so I'm going to use that mostly for my charging needs, because it's got USB as well, and uh, that'll work on like super cloudy days too, you can charge your cell phone off that, it's got so much power. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Being in the sun for about 20 minutes, let's see where we're at. 12.2. This will go up to 12.4 volts and then it stops charging. I love this combination. Probably one of the most compact. Uh, this is a little bulky, but uh, uh, my homemade one's quite a bit smaller between this and my homemade one. Or this. And the reason why I like this one with this solar panel so so much is it comes with all the plugs. It's just plug and play. You don't have to do anything about it. It just works, which is nice. And, uh, oh yeah, and this has a built-in charge controller, which is also nice. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.